What's up everybody? So this is my laptop. It's an Acer V3771G, specifically the 6485. So this runs a Intel i5 chipset. It is a relatively old laptop at this point. It's about four years old. These are the memory chip bays on the laptop. It's actually four of them. There's one here, a lower one, uh, a top one, and then another lower one, and then a top one. So when I first bought it, it came with a two gigabyte and a four gigabyte chip for a total of six gigabytes. I bought the G-Scale Rip Jaws memory. And so these are two uh, four gigabyte chips for a total of eight gigabytes in total. So I was happy with that at the time with eight, eight gigabytes when I first bought this laptop. But it is 2017 and now I run a run 16 gigabytes. So I thought, okay, well there's four slots. Why don't we just put four, four gigabyte chips in there? So I bought exactly the same chips to not run into any issues. Well, put a long story short, it doesn't read more than two slots of memory. If I put even like, let's say a third one or a fourth one, it does not run at all. So the, it won't post. It won't, the screen is black. I have to shut it down by pressing and holding the power button. So I did some reading online and some guys were saying, look, if you have the i5 chipset for this specific laptop, you're only going to get two live slots for memory. And if you have the i7 version chipset, then you are actually going to get four live slots. So unfortunately, I'm running the i5 chipset, so I only get two live slots. Last night I thought, you know what? What if I go ahead and buy two 8 gigabyte RAM chips? So let's find out what happens when I put two 8 gigabyte RAM chips. I will be very happy if I can get 16 gigs on here. Here is the moment of truth. Let's find out what happens. Power. Yes! And just to show you guys proof, so this is the BIOS. You press F2 after you hit the power button and you get into the BIOS menu and here we are. 16, uh, what, 16 gigabytes. So if you're in a similar situation, you're running an i5 chipset on this specific laptop, you're gonna need two eight gigabyte chips. 